And so what makes that cacao come across as so unique? What did you do as far as designing it that made it such a fruit bomb? I don't think I necessarily did. I mean, I provided the genetics. In some ways you did. Maybe you don't know what you did. Well, um, I think it has to do with stress. Um, I see this pattern. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that you, know, you know, I don't know. People don't like to necessarily paint this picture as, as uh, Hawaii has a stressful environment for, for plants. Right? It's just kind of the opposite of what people think. Um, but, you know, unlike cacao growing areas, we have really strong winds. Right, we're very far north, yeah. so we have long days, right? Um, you know, the equator, it's 12-12, right? The, the hours of daylight and sun, right? We have these long, hot days. Milani is on a west-facing slope into the setting sun, just getting baked all day long. Yep, it's really um, hot. You have high solar radiation, right? And you have wind, and so you go up there and you look at those trees at the end of the harvest season. Oh, oh, they, they look, look, they look they haggard. Look beat. They look haggard, right? Yeah, they weren't looking happy. So we were there. one of the patterns I've seen Notice throughout the, the world. Notice stuff out in Wailua as well. Right. One of the patterns I've seen, though, with cacao is that, you know, and you, you'll see this with grapes, right? Happy grapes make kind of bland wine, yeah. right? And I think there's a similar phenomenon going yeah, on you with cacao. <laughs> so you get this... Depleted soils. <laughs> well, not depleted. No. Yeah, with, with wine with, grapes. With, but, with grapes. But, I mean, cacao, you want rich soils. You, wanna, you want the trees to grow, you know, fast and healthy. Um, but this constant impact of, of the sun and the heat and the wind, uh, it stresses them out. So you get smaller fruits, you get smaller seeds. But I find you have, like, more concentrated flavors, you know? And, and I... Had, for a while, it's only seen this in, in Hawaii. It hadn't been in any of these marginal growing environments, right? But the, you, you'll see the Anamalai, you know, India mm-hmm. cacao. From those are also Tamil Nadu, right? And I, I went down there with them to, you know. Yeah, I liked those when I, I got the samples. Um, to revise all their post-harvest handling, right? And man, that is a dry, hot, breezy place. And if you taste those beans, they're pretty... Which pretty is, concentrated, which pretty is fruity. not where you think cacao would want to grow. I don't know that it does really want to grow there. No, it definitely <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> but uh, you know, or here, really. But um, you, every okay. So Hilo, which is perfect growing conditions. Everything we see from Hilo, it's kind of soft or subtle. I would use that's the that's a really nice. I way might to use put a it. more blunt word typically. Uh, I'm going to uh, go out and say it's bland. It's bland. Yeah, it's bland. Right. Yeah, it's boring and it's bland in most cases. Right. Uh, I think that the drying, they they could play with that and get more interesting results. Yeah. Which we've seen. Right. But generally, not much it fruit. tastes the same everywhere, and we're not sure if that's the genetics. That Ooh, that's, that's... But we're going to find out in the next couple of years. 